As you might already know from Ionic native version 3 and above, you can install only those plugins your project needs. If you are using only few plugins, then it saves significant space in your final code bundle. So if you want to install Ionic and Cordova, follow the command I sh just showed you on, on your computer screen. I have it installed, so I'll start a new project, Ionic Start. My project name is Technotip with a blank template. It's an Ionic 2 project. So let me run the project for you. I'll get inside my projects folder and serve it on web browser. Meanwhile, let me open the project folder in my Visual Studio code editor. So let me open up the project in web browser. So this is my Ionic 2 project with a blank template. Let me also show my Ionic info that is different version names of the frameworks, CLI, app script versions I'm using. I'll also show you the package.json file. Look at the dependencies the angular core, the ionic core, the storage, the ionic icons, ionic angular, the storage. Also look at the syntax here, the at symbol ionic iPhone native slash the core, ionic native slash whatever the plugin code you want to use in your project. Also the type script versioning and app script versions. And at last, the Cordova plugins we are using in our Ionic 2 project. So let me install the plugin AdMob Pro, also the native Ionic native script for AdMob Pro that is npm install at Ionic hyphen native slash the script we need that is AdMob, only that script we need in our project only that code which we need in our project we would install it so once it has been installed let me go to the first thing is go to app folder and then app.modules file specify whatever plugins you are using here by importing its class and then specify it that is list its class name as one of the provider providers that your ionic 2 application will make use of so copy this class and specify it inside the providers array so this is the first thing and the second thing is import it wherever you need to use its service. I'll use this inside my app.component because I need to display my banner ads throughout the application. So I'll create an instance of this class. I'll call it small letters add mob. Now inside platform ready method, I'll invoke its method create banner which returns a promise by the way so what whatever configuration this create banner takes well you can get all these details in the url i'm displaying on your computer screen right now it takes an id that is add id remember it must be an add unit id of a banner ad or else you will not get a banner ad displayed on your app it's does it requires to show a test ad no i want real ads auto show false i'll display ad using its specific method that is show banner eight means the banner should be centered and at the bottom so the next thing is i get an error like plugin not found or cannot find module in that case execute this command npm rebuild after that npm install this would fix the problem and then 
make sure to install the platform that is Cordova platform add Android in my case I'm showing you what all errors you might get while coding your app now let me show you the project on the browser I haven't implemented this for the browser yet so let me get out of this command line interface and then do ionic run android minus l and minus c that is live reload functionality for your actual android device you need to connect it to your usb port by the way i have done it once the installation is complete so this is true for any plugin you install that is ionic native script plugins you install for your ionic 2 project so this is the banner you get hope this helps so this is how you implement ionic native script in ionic 2 project thanks for watching please share this video with your friends friends on social networking sites like facebook twitter stumble upon reddit stack overflow etc and Stay subscribed to technotip.com and to our YouTube channel and do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.